Hello. My wife, Joan, and I would like to invite you on a little tour of our facility here at Huntington Manor. We've just put in a brand new addition of 11 bedrooms, state of the art in terms of taking care of people that are frail, who are bed bound, or need hospice care. In addition, we have gorgeous uh, grounds here and extensive landscaping. But as beautiful as all of this is, we have something that's even better, and that's the quality of the care that we provide here at Huntington Manor. Our motto is, good care begins with a good caregiver, and we are blessed to have many excellent caregivers at our facility. I won't read the whole thing, but there's an appreciation for what Huntington Manor does to the city uh, and for the uh, folks that uh, get the great treatment here and at the end of the city probably is privileged to have this resource serving our community. On behalf of the entire city council, I offer congratulations on the Huntington Manor grand opening of your new special building. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mayor Thank you for being here. And thank you for this wonderful award. Uh, I'm going to pass it around a little bit so everyone you may have a chance to take a look at it. And thank you also for the support of your staff. They were excellent in helping us uh, jump through all the necessary hoops in order to make this uh, fine facility a reality. Thank you once again. My name is B. Howard. I have been lucky to live here for two and a half years. During all that time, I have been very, very happy. Not one day of regret. The care is outstanding. The caregivers really, really care. And the food in this establishment is outstanding. The garden is the most beautiful garden that I can go out and look and see the birds and the beautiful flowers that bloom all year round. I'm very happy to be here. I wouldn't trade it for any other place. My name is Tess and I've been working here for 12 years and what I can say is I'm so proud of the care that we're giving to our family members. Uh, we treated them not only as a family members but we, treat, we treated them with proud and dignity. Hello, my name is Gloria Hardcastle-Taylor and I'd just like to share my family's experience um, about Huntington Manor. Uh, several years ago my father passed away in Ohio and we, my husband and I, brought my mother to live with us out here in San Diego and we had two and a half, just a little over two and a half years, just wonderful years with her in our home. But then it got to the point where I knew that it wasn't a safe situation anymore. And so being an RN and having been in home care for, for a number of years, I knew exactly what to look for when I went to look for some kind of an assisted living facility for my mother. So I set about my work research and created a matrix and made lots of visits and lots of phone calls. And my initial phone call, my conversation with Philip Budson, who is the owner here at Huntington Manor, I just said, this guy is a winner. And so I came, I visited the place and um, made a decision pretty much right on the spot to move my mother into this, into this facility. So um, it's just been, it was amazing. Um, Philip would invite us to have meals here anytime we wanted, no charge, and we could come anytime we wanted, spend as much time as we wanted. And the wonderful thing is too, I used to have these wonderful walks down here with my mother. I don't know if you can see behind me, but there is this beautiful swing back here, these beautiful gardens around here. It's always reminded me of Bouchard Gardens up in Canada. And uh, we used to go around and, and check out all of the, the vegetables in the, in the garden the raised gardens here and we just had a, a, a wonderful time and it's very peaceful and quiet here too. One of the main things that, that I remember and we have this wonderful uh, memory of is when Philip's grandson for a school project came here and did set up a whole video situation so that we could do, uh, we sat right over there on that swing and Philip came down and interviewed the family and interviewed my mother. And that is the only thing that we have of a, a live video thing of my mother 
with her, her smiles and laughter. And it's, it's just a cherished thing that we have now. So my mother did get to the point where she um, needed hospice care. And so I'm a San Diego uh, hospice patient care volunteer as well, and I knew what to look for there. And I had seen many situations here at Huntington Manor where people had had hospice and the, the kinds of things that the caregivers do, did here and Philip did here to make the families feel so comfortable and at home, just like being in their own home. So that was the situation with my mother as well. She had a room right up there in the corner, which was wonderful. She had her, it, she had windows on both sides, beautiful view. Her and, and and she was an oil painter, and so she had her own paintings around her and 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 um, family photos. So the, when the time did come that it was very close to the end, the caregivers made sure that I had a room right next to her so that I could sleep. Um, I slept many times right in the in the recliner in her bedroom and I was there with her when she passed and it was a wonderful experience. So once she passed away, the family decided to do a, um, a donation to Huntington Manor because we felt so strongly that this place is just incredible. So we did a donation and, and uh, there is an arbor over on the other side in front of the waterfall. And Philip actually did some research and bought two Tree, uh, flowering trees so that we could, with, with our celebration of life, that we could plant those trees and have, and he had a plaque made up um, and we put the words in that we wanted on that plaque that, it, that is up there on that arbor. So this is like a living memorial. Um, it is just wonderful. I've seen this happen with many of the families around here and it is, it's just, I just can't say enough about it. I love coming up to this place and it's been over a year and a half now that my mother passed away, but I still love coming here. It's just so peaceful and wonderful. Um, I didn't mention the food before, but the food is fabulous. They do it just for um, that, that age population and Philip's desserts are fabulous. And um, they throw wonderful parties here for the residents and the families. And I could go on and on, but I won't. So all I can say is that if you are in a position of having to find a place for a loved one. Um, this uh, Huntington Manor is specifically for the frail elderly. Um, and that is, uh, you know, but, but all I can say is that the caregivers here are fabulous. And uh, Philip is doing a wonderful job of expanding this facility too, to make sure that everyone has, you know, the, the best facilities available. So again, thank you for listening and goodbye.